Hi, I'm Lenny Main. This is the Easy Fill Hanging Basket. The last hanging basket you'll ever buy, the biggest basket you'll ever build, and the best hanging basket in the street. There's no liners, no rusting, no rotting, no moss, no mess, no root disturbance. Less watering. In the base of the basket there's a built-in reservoir. The closed sides maintain the moisture and the closed sides also deflect the wind. It's a nice flat base for building. For extra water retention we use Lenny Maintain Gel and Feed specially formulated for the Easy Felt Hanging Basket and we take two 5ml spoons and we place it in the base of the basket like that. We put it in the base of the basket like that because every plant in this basket will send roots down to that part. We've kept that part moist and we've kept it fed. We take a couple of handfuls of compost and we place it into the base of the basket like so. Then we start building. Now the gap is actually designed to take up to a 9 centimetre pot. 9 centimetre pots is the biggest pots that they grow hanging basket plants in. Every plant that you've ever put at the top of the hanging basket you can now put into the side of the hanging basket. We more often get asked, can we use smaller root balls and can we use plugs? Now the answer to that of course is yes. However, the only reason you've used smaller root balls and plugs in the past is because you've had no choice. Given the choice, you will use the biggest root ball you can afford is the best way for me to put it. Now the gap, as I said, is designed to take a 9 centimetre pot. The 9 centimetre pots are the large pots that you buy and you put at the top of your hanging basket. If you ever wish you could get them into the side of the basket without disturbing the roots, well of course you have. Now this lattice gate is the most important part of this hanging basket. It doesn't let the water or soil out the way people imagine. It lets the air back into the root ball, which is very important. So let me explain. This lattice gate is the main reason why the garden centres and DIY stores don't sell them. If you get the impression that the water and soil is going to come running through that lattice gate, well, you'd be hard pressed to push them because you'll never convince yourself that it won't. Let me explain why that lattice gate is the most important part of the hanging basket. But firstly, we'll show you, we use a couple of teaspoonfuls again of the water retaining granules or gel. We do that in layers rather than mixing it through our compost, which in my opinion has no benefits. Then we take another couple of handfuls of compost and we place it into the base of the basket like so again. Nice and level, give it a little firm down but not too much because the first water is going to take care of that in the first place anyway. The damage you do to the root ball is not the worst thing you do. After you've squeezed the living daylights out of that poor little root ball, you then do something worse. You then suffocate the root ball. Behind a liner, that root ball can't breathe. That root ball needs to breathe as much as it needs water. That's why the gates are latticed. It allows the root ball to breathe. Your hanging baskets will now flower bigger, better, longer, stronger later into the season. If you've ever noticed at the end of the season, the first plants to fail in your garden are the plants around the outside of the baskets. All your, all your plants at the top of the basket are standing proud. Your pots, tubs, containers, window boxes, etc., your borders are all standing up straight like that. Plants around the outside of the baskets always tend to do that a little bit earlier. The reason for that is not the root disturbance, that's just what everybody blames it on. But after you squeeze the living daylights out of that poor little root ball, you then suffocated it. With the easy fill hanging basket, the gates allows the root ball to breathe. Your hanging baskets will now flower bigger, better, longer, stronger later into the season. The easy fill hanging basket can be used for strawberries, tomatoes, herbs. It's the best way to grow them. A way up off the ground from the beasties, the bugs and the slugs. Especially the strawberries away from the kids. Just the same as the beasties, the bugs and the slugs. <laughs> if you build your own hanging baskets, you're always going to do it. Now, if you already have a pile in the bottom of your garden that resembles something similar to this, yeah, yeah, you all have. Well, these things here have been getting away with it for a long, long time. These baskets now, they can go, recycle them, remember, don't just throw them away. Buy the easy fill hanging basket and you'll never buy another liner, you'll never buy another chain and you'll never buy another basket ever again. Now, the top of your hanging basket is very simple. It's easy to build, as you all know, you can probably do it blindfolded. We, however, I found a couple of little trade secrets that we like to pass on to the public because a lot of people put too many plants and too little compost on the top of your hanging basket. What we do is we pile it nice and high. Firstly, what we're going to do though is we're going to take another couple of teaspoonfuls of the water retaining granules or gel and we're going to put it into this basket at the top here now. Mixing it amongst the compost has no benefits and when you mix it amongst your compost what you find is that gels at the top, there's little gel parts and of course the little feeds there as well lie on top as well. The little plants lie in them and they don't like lying in it. That's why your plants at your baskets, when it's got the gel mixed through the compost, actually rots. 
Now the top of your hanging basket, as you can see here, we put a lot of compost. Now on the, on the subject of compost, always look for a hanging basket compost. It's worth that little bit extra you pay in the garden centres. It's available in the garden centres, it's right behind that big massive pile of multi-purpose stuff that they want you to buy. So look for a quality hanging basket compost, it really is worth the money. As I said, we know a lot of people out there will fill this hanging baskets and they'll put the compost level with the top of the basket. Or some people will actually put it less than level. They really believe that they're creating a well at the top of their hanging basket. What we do is we put it nice and high. Now every plant has the potential to grow to the size that nature intended. And what changes that potential is you or I. We either put the plants too close together, we damage the root ball to get them in behind the liner, we suffocate the root ball, all these things. That root ball there will give you the best show if you do no root disturbance to it at all. So you pile it nice and high like this, and the reason for this we do this is because when you water your hanging basket, the first time is the most important time. If you now go out and take two cans of water and empty it into this basket and you think, well, we've soaked the root ball, well that's exactly what you have done. What we advise you to do is put it under a sprinkler. If you're doing your pots, tubs, containers, hanging baskets, probably over a period of a couple of days, maybe at the weekend, after you've done them all, put them out in the lawn, if you've got one, set the sprinkler on it, and what the sprinkler will do then, is it'll take the water, sorry, it'll take this compost down. As the water is pulling the, pushing the air out of the compost, it takes it level with this, it takes the plants down with it so you're not exposing the top of the root ball. But most importantly of all, those three layers of water retaining granules or gel, they get triggered. And if the water goes in slowly, it compacts down, it compacts the moisture content into the heart of the basket, you will water your baskets less. Now obviously they don't float in midair. It's just something else I'm working on for next year. No, I'm only kidding. We supply you with a chain. Now the chains in these baskets we showed you earlier here, what they do is they're actually designed to rust so that you go out and buy a new one. And when you go to the garden centres and DIY stores, you'll find a four length galvanised zinc plated steel chain on a little card hanging on a little hanger in the garden centres. This will cost you 2 dollars 3 dollars I've seen them at 4 dollars believe you me. We give you one of these free with every basket. We've made it easier for you as well. It's the little T-bar design, as you can see here. The little T-bar design. The little holes are pre-cut for you, so there's no guesswork where the chain goes. You physically take the little T-bar, you straighten it up, press it through the hole, pull it up like that, and hey presto, it makes it the easiest chain you'll ever put on a hanging basket as well. Now remember, no liners, no rusting, no rotting, no moss, no mess, no root disturbance, less watering, bigger, better, longer, stronger, later flowering. The hanging baskets is the crown jewels of the garden. We do not like yours to be the pride and joy of the street. The Easy Fill Hanging Basket will create a three foot round ball every single time without fail. It's as simple as that. That's the Easy Fill Hanging Basket. Thank you very much for watching.